Now to news that the United States is fast-tracking plans to build a nuclear reactor on the moon. Acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy sent a directive last Thursday where he said to properly advance this critical technology to be able to support a future lunar economy, high power energy generation on Mars and to strengthen our national security in space, it's imperative the agency move quickly. Now, lunar energy drawn from a nuclear reactor, this would enable permanent bases to be set up on the move and, according to NASA, might even empower Mars. It's stunning innovation from a country that's constantly thinking ahead. Yet in Australia, we have a government still hostile to even a discussion about lifting the prohibition on nuclear energy. Albanese's energy policy is so stuck in the dark ages that by the time we're building nuclear modules in Australia, they may very well already be on the moon, perhaps even powering Mars. And that's if we're lucky. Albanese's idea of policy reform is spending taxpayer money on hex debt, free childcare and even in terrorist-controlled Gaza. And that is the problem with having an average plotter as the Prime Minister.